Hey everybody! This week's challenge is the importance of eating snacks between meals that are low glycemic. Now you've probably heard that you should eat several small meals throughout the day which includes snacks, but what you might not know is how important it is for those snacks to be low glycemic. The glycemic index is simply a measure of how quickly does a food that you eat get broken down into glucose and released into the bloodstream. So something that's high glycemic gets released into the bloodstream all at once, a huge big gush, then what typically happens, the body secretes insulin to push those glucose levels back down, energy levels drop, and then you're craving something that's high glycemic again. On the other hand, eating a food that's lower glycemic means that that energy is being released into the body more slowly over time so that it's a consistent source of energy. Also, from a resiliency perspective, whenever we go too long without eating or have big swings in our blood glucose levels, that actually places a lot of stress on the body, that stress hormones like cortisol are released. And remember that cortisol actually makes us go into fat storage mode and makes us crave high fat high sugar foods. So for sustained energy, less stress on the body, eating foods that are low glycemic. Now there are three things that'll make a food low glycemic. Fat, fiber, protein. So the more of those three things a food contains, the lower its glycemic index value. I mean, you can go online and find out exactly what the glycemic index is of certain foods, but it's just really easy when you're out and about. Just look at the label or ask yourself, does this contain fat, fiber, or protein? A lot of the snacks that I like to eat between meals um, that are really low glycemic, and I'm kind of a creature of habit, but oh my God, this, these, um, they're, I'm not even crackies, there's chips, they're called beanitos, that are made out of beans. Okay, it sounds like a totally nerdy old lady thing to eat, but these chips um, are really high in fiber, they're really high in protein, so they don't have a spike in blood glucose levels. They're really filling, and they taste really good. They come in a couple of different flavors. Uh, another kick that I'm on right now is hummus. I will go through stages where I cannot get enough of this. There's a lot of different um, variations on hummus. These things are awesome. I actually sneak into the Delta Sky Club lounge and take these little hummus packs because they don't need to be refrigerated and I can throw a bunch of these in my briefcase and they make a great snack. Any type of dairy product is low glycemic because it does have fat, usually some fiber or protein. So any type of yogurt, um, cheese, and you can mix these kinds of things. So maybe you wanna have yogurt and fruit or um, cheese and some crackers, that totally works. Any sort of a nut product is low glycemic. So things like um, almond butter, peanut butter, whatever you like. Also, nuts really do make a great snack. I eat a ridiculous uh, amount of nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Um, but it doesn't take a lot to, to fill you up. And again, it's a, a quality snack that lasts you for longer, it makes you feel fuller longer, it gives you a sustained source of energy, it's placing a lot less stress on the body, and it's less likely to be stored as fat. So that's your challenge for this week. Anytime you have a snack, make sure it's low glycemic, containing fat, fiber, and protein. As always, let me know how it's going, and I'll talk to you next week.